In this uh, problem, uh, we will be solving it uh, for a RC series circuit. So, what the problem is saying? So, there is a resistor and there is a capacitor which are connected in series. So, if I draw the circuit, so somehow it will look like this. There is a resistor and there is a capacitor which are connected in series and a AC supply voltage is given here and the supply voltage is 20 cos of 10 T plus 45 degrees ok. So, this is what given and the resistance value is given as 10 ohms and capacitance is 0 0.2 Faraday. So, it is asking find out the impedance circuit current and the average power consumed by the circuit. So, let us see that. So, first is to find the impedance. So, what is the impedance value? Impedance is equals to R plus J x ok. So, that is equals to R plus J whole into XL minus XC. Now, the point here is XL is not there value is 0. So, it is R minus J XC. The R value is given as 10 ohms. We have to find what is the value of XC. XC is equals to 1 by omega C that is equals to 1 divided by. So, if you compare this equation, so omega T if you compare with this, the omega value is given. So, that is 10 into 0 0.2. So, that implies we will get x c value as 1 by 2. So, that is 1 0.5 ok. So, when you get So, next your uh, z will be equals to r, r value is 10 minus, so x c is 0 0.5, so j 0 0.5, this we can write in the polar form as well, so how to write that, so it can be written as convert to polar, so 10 and the second value is minus 0 0.5, so in polar form it is 10.01 with angle of minus 2.86 degrees, ok. So, this 2.86 degree is now the angle between the voltage and current means the voltage and current are apart from each other by 2.86 degrees and current will be leading here where voltage is lagging here why because it is a capacitive circuit. So, next is find the current we need to find the current I is equals to I m sin omega t plus or minus phi ok how to find this now. I m is equals to how much? I m is equals to V divided by, so whatever voltage we get V divided by your Z. So, voltage is given as, so not I m, directly I we can find out here, so that is I. Okay, so, that is equals to V is what 20 cos of 10 T plus 45 degrees divided by z is 10.01 with angle minus 2.86. Now, here one point to notice. So, generally we consider that V 0 sorry V m sin omega t, but here it is given as cos omega t. So, how to handle that? So, this cos omega t cos omega t plus 45 degree. So, that can also be written as cos sorry that can also be written as your sin of 90 degree minus this omega t plus 45 degrees ok sin 90 minus theta is cos theta. So, here I can write that is equals to 20 sin of 10 t plus 45 degree no change will be there 90 minus 45 divided by 10.01 at angle minus 2.86 now this calculation will not be possible. So, we have to write in phasor form that is 20 with angle 45 degrees divided by 10.01 with angle minus 2.86. So, that implies what will be the current here now? So, the current will be 20 sorry. So, uh, you can directly do the angle calculation to with 45 divided by 10.01 with angle of minus 2.86 ok. So, this is equal to this much now convert that to rectangular form. 
so that is 1.99 at angle 47.86 degrees okay so if we write i in the general format so i will be equals to how much that will be equals to 1.99 sin of omega t plus 47.86 degrees right now what uh, so this question is find the current in the circuit now we have to find the average power consumed in the circuit now the average power consumed in the circuit you can calculate in two ways so i'll say both the ways average power in the circuit so one average power pab consumed consumed by the circuit that is equals to i square r so this i is nothing but your i rms so i rms square into r that is equals to 1.99 divided by root 2 whole square into 10 10 is the r so if we find this 1.99 divided by root 2 then square of the answer divided by root 2 we got this answer then answer if we do the square one point nine eight is the answer into ten so that is equals to nineteen point eight i think some mistake has happened so i is i square rms rms value is one point nine nine one point nine nine divided by square root two mm. one point nine nine divided by square root this is 1.407 so 1.407 square 1.98 yeah fine so this is your average power and we call this as watt so another average power calculation is also there so that is v into i cos phi cosine angle or the phase difference between the voltage and the current okay so this is what v rms so v rms will be how to calculate so here v m is 20 so 20 divided by root 2 i rms already we know how much 1.4 just now we calculated 1.4 into cos of what is the phase difference so see here phase difference is this is 45 degree and for the current we are getting 47 degree so what is the phase difference 45 minus 47.86 okay so now we have to calculate this 20 divided by root 2 equals to this much into 1.4 into uh, cos of 45 minus 47.86 yeah so this value is equals to 19.77 watts so you can see this value and this value are almost same okay, this is how you can find out the average power consumed so here it the most important word is consumed by the circuit so this is nothing but your also called as your active power so if in the question it is asked what is active power you can calculate this thing and the reactive power is again vi sin phi so all this calculation only sin phi will be taken here in the question here it has not asked to calculate the reactive power only the average power consumed by the circuit so there is another power also that is called as apparent power or s that is only v into i so if i uh, do the phasor diagram of the power then this is your active power this is your reactive power and this will be your apparent power and the relation is s equal to p square plus q square square root so this is how it is calculated and uh, we'll be meeting with another uh, we'll be meeting with another video in the another problem